Welcome to Math Movies with Ms. Feuerbeck and Ms. Valuti. Today we will be using arrays to divide three digit by two digit numbers. Here's an equation. 270 divided by 15 equals blank. We're going to be using arrays to find the quotient or the solution to this problem. But before we begin, one thing that's helpful is to rewrite this equation as a multiplication equation. And the way we can do that is think, okay, well, 15 times blank equals our product of 270. These equations are exactly the same. They're just written do using different operations. So what we're going to do next is we're going to create an array. When we think about multiplication, it's helpful to think about the two factors as our two dimensions. And let's write those in right now. So we have 15, and then we have this mystery number. In multiplication, we also think about our product as the whole entire space inside the array. So I'm going to write 270. The missing factor, or the quotient, is what we're looking for. When we solve using uh, when we solve using arrays for division, it's helpful to draw a three-sided array because we don't know the size of the quotient yet. And at the end, we'll close the array and we'll get rid of any extra lines that we don't need. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to label the dimension that we do know, which is 15. Just as a reminder, we don't know this side and we do know that the inside is going to be 270. So, what I need to think now is, hmm, 15 times what number is going to get me close to 270? Just like in partial quotients, it's a really good tip is to use familiar factors, such as multiples of 10 or 5, to help you find the quotient. So I'm going to use that strategy myself. I'm going to think, hmm, 15 times what will get me close to 270? Well, I know that 15 times 10 will get me to 150. So that's a pretty good start. So I'm going to make a line here to separate that section. Now, I still have a ways to go. I have to think to myself, hmm, 270 minus 150, what do I have left over in this space here? that's still remaining. So when I solve this equation, I can pretty much do that one in my head, I get 120. So now I need to think, hmm, 15 times what will get me close but not go over 120? Well, I knew that 15 times 10 brought me to 150, so maybe I could do half of 10. Maybe I could think about 5. Well, 15 times 5, that's going to be half of 150, so that's 75. All right, so we're making some progress, but I'm still not quite at my total yet, so I need to do a little more subtraction on the side to help me out here. I have 120, I need to subtract the 75 that I just did, and I need to see what I have left over. Okay, I have 45 more. So now I need to think to myself, hmm, 15 times what number is going to get 45 to fit in this space? Let's see. Well, I do actually think I know this one off the top of my head because I know that 15 doubled, 15 times 2 is 30, plus another group of 15. Well, that actually brings me to 45. So that was three groups of 15, and that brought me to... 45, exactly what I needed to finish my array. So now I'm going to close off the array and my last step is that I need to figure out what is the side or what is the, uh, the factor when I add all of those up. If I am to add up 10 plus 5 plus 3, I'm going to get a total here of 18. So I'm saying that 270 divided by 15 equals 18. Another way to think about it is 15 
times 18 equals 270. Just like we've done with other types of arrays, there's more than one way to solve division problems using arrays. And we didn't have to break it up with 10, 5, and 3. There's many different ways that we could have done it. But this is one way, one example, of using arrays to divide three-digit numbers by two-digit numbers. Thanks so much for listening.